Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode five of our custom pizza truck build. As you can see, things are moving along swimmingly. Let me show you where we're at. Last week, we started off our metal fabrication by cutting out the entire wall and then framing everything up with two inch square tubing. Today, I'm going to continue the metal fabrication by installing three window frames at the top with piano hinges so that they act as vents. And then I will be doing a custom door right here and then a service window just to the left of it. After that, we'll finish up the subfloor. So let's get to it. All right guys, I've got all three of my piano hinges clamped together. The next step is going to be drilling a bunch of holes in these. Now this isn't required, but it will make it a lot stronger. Basically, if I only weld it on the side right here, the distance between the weld and the hinge where all of the weight is held is just too far. So put a couple of holes along the way, get some welds in there, makes it just a little bit stronger, which will be helpful because the frames with the windows are gonna be a little bit on the heavy side. All right guys, the next step here is to sand down these welds so that I can use this inch and a half flat strap and put a nice little border around it. Now that will act as a weather stripping so that when it's closed, it'll be completely sealed off from the elements. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, things are coming along well, but there are a couple things I need to adjust. This uh, square tube right here, it's about a 16th of an inch that way, and it is just enough for me to notice. Now, this wouldn't be noticeable once the door is here because it's gonna have a little cover right there, but it's driving me nuts. So I'll cut the tacks on the bottom, move it over just a sconch, and then we'll be good to go. After that, I'll address these three pieces of square tubing. When I tack the backside, the heat sent the whole thing just a little bit that way. So before I do the tacks on this side, I'll do probably a ratchet strap up against this wall and then a come along and that'll pull it just a little bit that way so that when I do the tacks on this side, it squares everything up. Other than that, everything's looking great. Guys, it has been a doozy of a week. I got that little virus that seems to be going around and it knocked me out. So I've basically just been watching Netflix. Let me show you where we're at on the truck. The next step is to finish up this whole subframe section down here. I've already got some two inch square tubing welded up to all of these supports. Next step is going to be angle iron going down and then across to build a nice little frame. And then I will get my plasma cutter out, cut up this diamond plate and get it installed. So let's get to it. Right, guys the next step is to weld up some stairs now you see I've already got it marked out on the diamond plate where the stairs will be located but I can't do the angle iron across here until I have something to weld it to now on this side I've already done an inch and a half flat strap all the way around to give a nice little 
trapezoid shaped piece but what I'm going to fill that in with is this corrugated steel that I removed from up top and I don't want to weld the angle iron to it because it's going to be just a little bit difficult to seal everything up on the inside plus I have this giant hole right here which is really just used when this is a factory shipping container for the giant forks to lift it up and move it about so what I'll do is I'll use a large piece of sheet steel on this side to make it nice and flat weld the angle iron across and then do diamond plate steps so let's get to it Alright guys, well the service area and these stairs came out pretty good if I do say so myself. I was hoping to get these little trapezoid pieces along with the service door and the service window done in this episode, but sadly, due to that sickness, that'll have to wait until the next one. But the fabrication is coming along pretty good after I finish that up. Really, that's a bulk of it. The next step is going to be getting the engine up and running. Now, I do have a couple other videos coming out that are not pizza truck related, so I'm not exactly sure what the order is going to be, but just stay tuned and it'll it'll come out when it comes out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.